Hello, hi. Coming at you with week three, mindset and movement. <laughs> Um, I thought it was a really great week. I thought it was a really great lesson that we that we worked on this week. Um, I enjoyed being on the pole a lot and taking the time and really taking the time like to carve out for myself. Um, it was like super important and just super great and it was a lot for me because like I've like tried to get myself into the routine and so sometimes like holding myself accountable is kind of hard and so having this has just been like a really cool thing to really just like help me uh, stay focused and motivated to, um, to yeah, to, to get on there and work it out. So I, um, <clears throat> we had to set intentions before each of our, our sessions this week. Um, and I pretty much stayed with the same intention the whole entire time. Um, just because I, this is what I'm really just trying to work on, which I might, you know, eventually move it around or move it to something a little different, but it's really just um, trying to feel comfortable within my body and my movement. So I just chose, um, it was like sexy, sexy, sexy and sensual um, is what I chose as my intention to really like um, focus on and also letting go of just the thoughts of what maybe other people think of me or what I think other people think of me. Not even so much that I really care. I just always imagine sometimes that people just think like negatively of me. And I don't know why I have that, but that's just a, a belief that sometimes I have. And so I really have to work hard to sometimes not have that that conscious feeling or that whatever, that thought. <clears throat> so um, this week, um, that was my that was my intention. And so the cool thing is I also went um, dancing this week with, or this past weekend with my friends. Uh, it was just like a random outing that we ended up doing and it was super great. Like I've always enjoyed dancing and moving my body, but this time I just had felt this like extra boost of confidence as I did it. And I don't know if it was just like having some of the moves from this and just even learning to more like trust my body and how I look and feel and all of that stuff. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but I had like the best time and it was just, it was a lot of fun. And I really got to move my body a whole lot and I got to move it. Yeah. in like, you know, sexier ways, like how I kind of do when I'm like using the pole and stuff. So, uh, I thought it was really great to do that and I thought it was really exciting. So I just, I don't know, this whole entire week kind of tied together and I just really enjoyed the lesson a whole lot and what a, what it's doing for me and, um, the energy it's helping me create and take out into the world to inspire others, hopefully. So I'm hoping that's what it's continuing to do. So, um, yeah, that's really all I got for this week. Okay. Bye. This week, our assignment. So this week, our assignment is mindset and movement. Um, it has been very interesting adding the pole. Um, I've went the polka route so far. Um, only on Mondays, so I've actually only had time to do one session per week so far. Um, I definitely want to increase my sessions and I'm trying to get it scheduled, but um, you know, kids and work and business and just everything, you know, it gets it gets hard to make that time. Um, but mindset and movement, what I learned most about mindset and movement with the pole fitness is that I am really struggling with getting over um, the comfort zone of fear. Um, I have a spinal fusion from about 10 years ago or maybe a little longer than that. I was 18, do the math, sorry, I'm 35. Um, and not only has that kept me from driving and being able to really help my family the way that I would like to, although they may feel that I do plenty, you know? Um, it has also kept me from a lot of other things and this pole situation that, uh, or climb series, not pole situation, sorry. Um, the climb series has shown me um, what I'm possibly capable of. <laughs> so um, I've been really enjoying the challenge um, I've been really wanting to push myself more to get on the pole um, and uh, do more sessions per week. So that is my biggest goal and my mindset and movement connection definitely is improving. Um, I learned from like the first class to my second class, wow, like 
just, I, I felt more confident and I just felt like I did so much more and I felt so much more engaged and learned um, just by other workouts that I do per week, what muscles would help me. And I even been working on workouts at home that basically focus on what you can do for yourself on the pole. So it's been a really great experience and I'm really loving it. And it's really opening me up to layers and levels of myself that I didn't even know were possible. And I love it here. So my growth is definitely blooming and um, I'm just grateful to be here. <laughs> Thank you. This week's task was mindset and movement. And one thing about this whole climb series is that I really have to train not just my body, but my mind. And sometimes for me, what I tend to do is like really get in my head and beat myself up. And so this week, my intention was to not do that. Like I understand that I am rebuilding my body, rebuilding my journey. So instead of um, being upset about me not being able to do some of the things that I used to be able to do, I am moving with grace. I'm giving my body grace and I'm trying to listen more to my body. Some days my thighs are just like, baby, not today, okay? You was able to get further down last week. You were more flexible yesterday. Today, you ain't gonna be that. And I just have to be able to listen to my body and breathe through it. And I noticed that when I really calm my brain and breathe and focus, it allows me to work better with my body. And it's then you know, I'm doing the thing that was frustrating me that I couldn't necessarily do at first so for my mindset it's really just about giving myself grace and allowing myself to trust the process i that's hard for me i like to get to it get through it get and do it you know but i can't do that you know sometimes it takes strength it takes time to build strength it takes time to build muscle memory and that's what i'm just having to embrace um one thing I will say, honey, these pole kisses are beating my butt, okay? The pole is kissing me more than my husband right now. <laughs> and I'm hurting. I'm hurting. But it's a good hurt. And so I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it moving the best way I can. <laughs> hey, it's Tati. So um, this week was about mindset and movement. So we got into dancing a little more, stepping away from the pole. Um, that always makes me so happy, makes me feel so good, like a woman should. <laughs> um, I don't even know how to explain it. I know one thing that I used to tell people a lot is like, when you're getting into working out, um, you don't want to choose something that's like super taxing, super annoying. Like the thought of it just, ugh, I don't even want to go to the gym. I'm not even ready. Who wants to go run or, you know, whatever. But when you think about it, like dancing feels so good for our body because it's like releasing um, emotions that we trap like in our hips and our shoulders, in our body. And at the same time, like simultaneously, it's a workout. So it's like a double entendre. Like not only are we getting the, the like stress released from our body, but then we also got those feel good endorphins being released in our brain. So um, I would say I had a wonderful week. Uh, being able to dance I find myself just wanting to get dressed up more wanting to just do everything more girly like this this month really we're in February so it's like a whole self-love kind of month thing with Valentine's Day the Chiefs going to the Super Bowl like it's just nothing but love in the air right now so I'm here for it I love it and dancing is like my favorite so I love to this week
Hey guys, so this is Kim. It's Friday and it's been one hell of a week. Um, this is actually the first pole class I've been able to take this week. And pole is my way to unwind, uh, to release stress, to just let go all of the stress and stuff that's going on. So you're here at my favorite studio. This is Flux Vertical Theater. And I'm here taking a choreography class. Um, and we're just starting getting in the mood. Ah, and this is Kai. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Just a little warm up. 